Welcome back to Retro Wednesday on the Tide here. I'm Hanger. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 1991 Robin Hood Prince of Thieves toy line that accompanied that movie that year. It was a good movie. I really enjoyed the movie. I have to say I probably watched it 30 times. The toy line is from Kenner. Kenner is an excellent toy company. The greatest toy company ever. Kenner created this toy line. And this is an outstanding reuse of Star Wars. We're going to talk about all of this fun stuff coming up. So I already made a video about a year ago, but I've gotten more stuff and I, I more things to talk about with this. So I'm gonna go into it, I'm gonna do a quick overview. We're gonna go over everything in the toy line. But first I wanna talk a little bit about the movie again. So the movie was very mature themed. It was lighthearted and dark at times, but I don't really think it was for kids. I think it was more for adults or maybe even teenagers but definitely not for kids that were buying toys. So for that, I think the toy line itself failed. But the fact that the toy line itself failed and there's not a lot of interest in it makes it a very cheap toy line to collect for these days. So this toy line only has eight figures and it has one playset, and it has one vehicle and it has two catapult kind of items. We're gonna get into all that, but I'm gonna start with the figures. So Little John is a classic figure, may I call him John Little, and he comes with his shirt, I guess you could say, some of these uh, lower leg coverings, and he has a stick. Not really all that exciting, but it is kind of fun to have a John Little figure. I don't really think it matches his picture either, I mean it's kind of weird. Here is the card back, and the card backs, they were okay. The, classic Kenner style. I mean, don't you get the feeling of a Star Wars figure except with different colors and just the way it's set up. Felt like a vintage Star Wars figure. Also looking right here, you can see all eight of the figures. You can also see the vehicle, the playset, and then these two different bomber type of things that are going on right there. Since these figures are so cheap, I kind of like to use extra little Johns and stuff in background. If I was going to do a scene on the playset, that would work out. You can say he's another villager or something. Next, I want to talk about good old Friar Tuck here. And first off, he's the shortest of the bunch because he's not really a mold that was made for this toy line. This toy line's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit taller than the three and three quarter inch. Not quite a five inch scale, but he was a reuse of the Gamorrean guard mold. As you can see right here, they literally reused the mold. They changed up his head. They changed the chest section a bit. Changed this lower left section a slight bit. But the same exact legs, same exact arms, same... Well, the torso and the head were different. But used a lot of pieces from this. And this is the first part that we're going to talk about. It was a reuse from Star Wars. You gotta love it. He does have his soft goods and his cane, and that's pretty cool. And it's what, what else is he gonna come with, you know? Now, here's his card back, and looking at the back, the card back shows the figure. You get a bit of a bio. Guess I didn't show that on the last one. Yeah, but the rest of the card is the same. And that is Friar Tuck. Azim, what does it mean? It means great one. Great one, really? Did you give yourself this name? Next up we have Azim the Great One. Now in my last video, I really thought they intended to make this cloth look tattered. And now with us having a sealed in the package one, seeing how it looks brand new, it's just, it deteriorates when out of the package and getting used. So that was a, a misnomer, I guess, for myself, but anyway, this does look so much better, brand new. So they're so cheap, you could just buy yourself a sealed set of these figures when they pop up, they're only like 50 bucks, and have pristine looking figures instead of kind of some ratty looking ones like mine. But Azim the Great One, he does come with a sword and of course all of his soft goods. And then looking at his card back, there is his card back. And he has a little bio right there. Great character. 
So next up we have Will Scarlet. Good old Will Scarlet here, and he comes with the same bow that one of the two Robin Hoods come with. And his arrow, I guess uh, this loose one had some sort of marker on it that did not come off very easily. I guess I could scrub harder and get it off. But anyway, this does look so much better, brand new, than of course used and played with. And he, he does have soft goods to hold the arrow, so I like that. There's no spring action or anything, but the arrow actually goes into his crossbow. It looks really good. I like that. I like how they did that. Looking at the card back, here he is. And on the back, there is his bio. So there are two Robin Hoods. We're going to go with this Robin Hood first because this Robin Hood has his bow, just a regular bow and arrow set, and he has soft goods. Good old Kevin Costner. I never thought he would have made an action hero. Okay, I still don't think he would make an action hero. But, you know, he, he, he looks like the guy that would play like, like your dad or something. But anyway, <laughs> here goes the card back of the first version. What do they call this one? Longbow? Longbow Robin Hood. And there is his bio. You know, I should look and see if the bios are the same. Here is crossbow Robin Hood. So my loose one doesn't have the cloak. I probably could have gotten away with throwing a Luke Skywalker cloak on it. Maybe I could have gotten away with that, but he does have a crossbow, as you can see. Same one Will Scarlet has, so they saved money there. Probably the same backpack Will Scarlet has, too. The same arrow sheath, or whatever they call that. And, uh, of course, this one had more arrows, I'm sure. Uh, Will Scarlet has a bunch more arrows, but I mean, the one I have is missing those but still cool that they have the soft goods in the way it is and then here is the card back and this one's called crossbow robin hood and then the bio on the back shows it is different this one talks about his skill with the crossbow so now we're getting into the bad guys and there's only two bad guys so i guess they were expecting you to get an army of the soldiers and just have this guy. There's a lot of, you could have had the cousin, I've said this in the other video though, but you could have had the cousin, you could have had the religious dude that was that was not serving the good side, serving the bad side. Could have even had the witch in there, who knows. But anyhow, they didn't make those, they just made two bad guys, and i assuming good guys sell. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why the line didn't succeed. But he has a really cool cape. I love this, like, shiny cape of his uh, really good looking figure the face doesn't match the actor at all i don't think i think it's a terrible head sculpt but it was 1991 he does have this nice gold necklace and a sword here is the card back looking good and he's called sheriff of nottingham with sword and then his bio is right here the rest of the card back is the same. So the bad guy soldier is called the Dark Warrior. I don't have a, him carded. I just have him with his bling bling jacket. No belt. So his sword's supposed to go into his belt. But his sword just sticks in his shirt. Oh, I'm probably destroying this, this thing here. Anyway, he has a helmet that's removable, which is cool. He also has this giant axe. Went off camera there, a giant axe. He has this giant axe. <laughs> and then, uh, the card back there is his bio. The Dark Warrior. Chief Henchman. So, I saw these in vintage toy stores and didn't even know they were part of the Robin Hood toy line. And I thought these were like Ewok things I never knew were made. So, some of the Power of the Force stuff I didn't really pay attention to as a collector, but then when I realized that's not what it was, I thought, oh, that's kind of cool, actually. But I did kind of pick them up, and I've had a couple of these floating around, because I thought they had something to do with Ewoks. But we're gonna try to catapult this, if the catapult mechanism works, so he's gonna get over here, push the lever in. Come on, how's it work? There it goes. That's the fun in this item. You can also store these right here on the side, so, there it goes. Now this is called the 
Ola Bomber. Next, we're going to talk about the Net Launcher. One thing about Kenner is they like to have gimmicks. So here's the Net Launcher, and we're going to launch it like this. Hey, it got the job done. So it's kind of a fun toy, and Kenner was a really fun toy company. So we slide that back in. When you slide that back in, it actually is looks like it's pulling the bow. And then you want to roll it up. I guess roll it this way. I never really saw anyone show how to do this, but it just makes sense because the way it works, if you roll it the other way, it doesn't really spread. Next, let's talk about the battle wagon. So here's the battle wagon, and it's the same as the Ewok battle wagon. The thing is, it has this Ewok catapult with it, which is cool, I guess. Uh, and it sits on top instead of the big old, uh, what's that, the big old horn, the big old skull. So it has several play features that uh, you can lower the drawbridge here with this, or whatever you want to call this front thing. You can also pull back this with this string and you can ram stuff so but it's, it's some play features with it you know Kenner was really good with play features of course they're just reusing this mold and a toy line that they were taking a risk on obviously they knew it was a risk <laughs> it was definitely a risk so there's something I just saw that I thought was interesting though somehow these panels here come out and you could turn it into like a little fort and I saw it on the box I don't have the box to this but someone else does so connect these pieces here to each other somehow. I saw it. I know I saw it. Okay, here it is. Connect them like this. And you have a fort. Somehow he's got a fort. And behind there you can have your launcher. Yeah, that's an extra little play feature. There's also a ladder that he can climb up. And up top here there's a drum. The drum, kind of like on the Ewok playset. I would also advise if you don't want to spend the crazy amounts of money that the Star Wars Ewok Battle Wagon goes, pick one of these up. It's the same thing, just missing the skull. It's a little bit different, a little bit slightly different coloration. But hey, if you don't want to spend three, four hundred bucks, how much people are asking, get this thing for like fifty. So next up, we have the Sherwood Forest playset. Now the big difference between the Sherwood Forest playset and the Ewok Village, which they are the exact same mold, is the coloration, the coloration, and these treetops, which, by the way, they are really cool. If they would have incorporated the treetops in the Ewok Village, I, I, that would have been awesome too. They had to add something to it, to, because they just can't reuse everything exactly the same, so they added something to it. They added the treetops. Those treetops should fit in a regular Ewok Village, Heck, I'm surprised I haven't tried. I've had this thing for like a decade now, and I still haven't tried that. But anyway, it has the same struts. This is the same. But it seems like some of these other pieces are a little bit different. I think that they added a bit here so that you could put like a crossbow in there. And I know I'm missing a couple of parts and pieces on this thing. Uh, I think I might just have to take them off of an Ewok village because they're... Uh, but, but that's kind of... I don't know, it's kind of silly. Anyway, this is where you would have your elevator and then the the pit, the fire pit, and it would also have, you could put a swing ball on it too. So it's pretty much the same playset. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of different colors. So this has been the Kenner Robin Hood toy line from the 1991 Prince of Thieves movie. It is a very simple toy line to complete. Fun, it's kind of fun. It's pretty cool. It has its charm and it still holds on to that retro feel because it's vintage. Like, subscribe. Cut your finger out.